Okay, the reason I'm making this video is so that people can get Turtle Wow or any vanilla Wow private server running as well or better than Classic Wow. And the way that happens is Vulkan API. And three programs in GitHub. Uh, I have American Pig, as you can see here, but casting is still great. Um, I have no competitive problems with that, and that's because of a program I'm going to show you as well. All these are not bannable by Turtle Wow. A GM commented in their newcomer guild they put you in when you log on the server, and all of them are allowed. They have actual GMs, unlike Blizzard, who patrol the game and look for cheaters, bots, hackers, and they ban them. It's crazy, I know. But uh, as you can see, there is, let's see, 11,000 people online right now. And I'm in Agrimar, and you can see all these people. Still runs great. And that's because of Vulcan UI, and I'm going to show you how to use that. All right, so we're going to exit the game. I'm going to bring up my browser here. And the first thing you're going to get is vanilla tweaks. And these are GitHubs. All these are GitHubs. You can see the address right here. Uh, GitHub is open source. If you've never got anything off of GitHub before, you're going to click on releases, latest, okay? And that's going to bring up all the versions for different operating systems. You're going to get this one, Windows. That's all you need. You don't need the Windows 256. You just need this one. You're going to unzip it. You're going to put this into your... Turtle Wild directory. This is just a Turtle Wild client right from the website. And you're now going to have a vanilla tweaks.exe. You're going to drag the wow.exe on top of there. When you do that, you're going to get a wow tweaked.exe. Okay? If this sounds complicated, it's not. It's just manipulating the original wow.exe and you're going to get wowtweak.exe. Now, what we're then going to do is take the original wow.exe and rename it something like wow backup, wow backup original, whatever. And the reason we're going to do that is we're going to rename the wowtweak.exe. So it's going to look like we're just going to name it to wow.exe. And we're doing that so that we can use this in conjunction with vanilla fixes. This is the DXVK, the Vulkan backend that actually fixes performance. Okay. Um, same deal. You're going to take this, releases, and you're going to get this one right here, DXVK. If you have an older video card does not support DXVK or Vulkan API, you can check, like maybe a laptop or something. Um, even though most modern laptops should support Vulkan API, then you would get this one. But this is the one that's going to give you the best performance right here. That is going to put vanillafixes.exe into your folder. And say I have a little ice cream cone. The reason we rename the wowtweak.exe to wow.exe is so that this finds the right executable. That's all. And you're just going to launch your game with this from now on. So you can right click that and make a shortcut with it, whatever. That is how you're gonna launch the game from now on. And congratulations, you fix performance, you have proper FOV, you have proper animations at high FPS. You can run 300 FPS if you want. Now for ping, um, you have something called NomPower. This is something like all US, all South American players, you're gonna to wanna to use this. Because this, uh, the way the old client works is you'd have to contact the server and then has to contact back and your ping depends your casting speed. This eliminates that. It doesn't make you cast faster than somebody with good ping, but it puts you on an even playing field. This is also not bannable. I asked a GM in their newcomer's uh, guild that they put you in. So you're just going to drag that into, like all those files are going to be in here. You can see there's the non-power DLL. Um, this right here is the actual DXVK DL. This is the shader cache for DXVK. Okay, you need that for performance reasons. Don't delete that. Um, 
Other than that, you can use reshade with this, and I do. You just use choose the Vulcan option when you run um, the reshade installer. And if it if so, if you get any problems, just take the D three D nine from Vanilla Tweaks. It's going to be in that folder, and drag it back in here. If reshade rewrites it or something, because it works, they all work fine together. Um, the reason Reshade is nice is it has CAS.FX sharpening, which is an AMD open source sharpening that is used in Diablo. And it's used in the modern WoW client. And Classic even has it with a long um, text input you can put in there with a say. Uh, this is better because it gives you a, you know, a GUI. Graphics user interface, you just press home and you can adjust that. Um, I tried ambient occlusion. It didn't work in reshade. Maybe somebody else gave it to work. Whatever. But uh, sharpening really looks nice. So I hope this helps. Uh, I hope this helps you run Turtle Wow really well. They have actual GMs that ban for botting and cheating, unlike the bastards who are at Activision who don't give a fuck about Classic Wow and only released it as a passive aggressive attempt to get you on their microtransaction bullshit while pay to win token crap all right so hope this helps um also for people like pvp there's pvp on classic wow i would probably go horde I, all my characters are horde i just started a couple weeks ago i've had no problems killing people in every zone finding people to kill war mode gives 30 percent experience it's opt-in when you start, there's a little glyph guy, like in the starting cave or the starting building of your race. Um, for Undead, it was like in the chapel. And you just talk to them, you get the glyph, you get 30% more XP, but you're flagged for PvP all the time. And uh, you can... PFUI has an option to show if someone's PvP flag that will show like a little sword on their bar. You can put that on there. Um, these are like add-ons... They're modern looking. PFUI is like an all-in-one. And then there's like a few it misses that you can add here. Like the Shagu Clock. I added. I think the DPS meter wasn't included. I added it there. But these are all like really good. They all run really well. Um, the PF Quest is like Questy. And they have an add-on for Turtle Wow. For like. Because they have a ton of new quests. Like PvE people are going to love this server. Um. I'm mainly PvP. I'm still having a lot of fun. Uh, leveling is more fun because the stuff I haven't seen before, like the new areas are nice. Like I really like the undead area. Uh, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, ask me. Um, hopefully I, des I described it clear enough. I can just hover over the GitHubs really quick so that you can see them. Okay, and then there's the Shagu site. So, oh, one last thing with the Shagu add-ons. Like, say you get one of these, and it's going to be, like, PFUI-Master. And this is the same with any add-on on, like, private servers. Just delete the master. So it says, like, PFUI for the folder and drag it in. And usually they'll tell you, like, on here. They'll tell you if you have to do that. Here you go. Here's an example. Rename the folder Shagu Plates dash master to Shagu Plates. And that's why your add-on isn't working. All right. So hope it helps. Uh, have fun on Turtle Wow. It's free. It's not pay to win. They do have like a donation shop. But I don't give a fuck. Uh, I've never cared about mounts or like clothing. It doesn't affect me. I don't care. I just want to kill people in world PvP. Play BGs. And do raids that aren't geared for no life incels. Like, I, I want to be able to raid with people I have a beer with, you know. So, all right. Take it easy. Bye.